I remember when there was talk of the administrative court opening in Manchester. We had a visit from the senior judiciary and I heard something that has really stuck with me. Somebody, I'm afraid I can't remember who it was, said that there is no such thing as a small case. And I believe that to be true. Some of the cases that we see may have very low value. Uh, they may not take up very much time, but for the people involved in them, they are hugely, hugely important. And very often we as judges are seen by people who come in front of us who are very often litigants in person as part of the system that they feel has been oppressing them. We might be seen as part of the landlord who wants possession of their house or as part of the bank who wants to get the money back from them. And I find the opportunity to ensure that people understand that they're having a fair hearing and that I'm not part of that system immensely rewarding. And I think most judges would think to themselves, although perhaps few judges would say, the element of public service and giving something back is, is hugely uh, rewarding and uh, it's something that I very much value. I think even in our society today people have an enormous respect for, for judges. Uh, if you tell someone you, you're a judge they are immediately fascinated by it uh, and uh, they want to know uh, more. The uh, uh, sense that you have made a decision uh, about uh, other people's lives that you believe firmly to be correct and fair is one that gives the job a particular uh, attraction. Uh, this morning uh, I uh, spoke to some people in a telephone hearing where I had exonerated them of a, uh, an allegation that had been made. Uh, and the making of that allegation had, had uh, nearly ruined their lives. Uh, and the gratitude that they expressed to me for standing up for the individual in a case where the state was making a false allegation against them was um, almost palpable. And that does give a huge sense of satisfaction that, that you have done something that you genuinely believe is fair and you've put the record right for people. You've sorted out other people's lives uh, and uh, uh, allowed them to see that uh, fairness, justice can be done. Of course there are frustrations being a circuit judge in some ways, uh, but they are absolutely um, dwarfed by the sense of satisfaction of knowing that you've helped participate in a fair trial and that victims have been treated with respect in your court, that juries have been empowered to fulfil their function, that defendants have had a fair hearing and have also been respected in your court, and that you have e enabled justice to be done. It really can't be underestimated how lovely that feeling is to help achieve justice and uphold the rule of law. I know it sounds pompous, but I can't think of any other way of describing it. And I would, given my time again, I'd have made exactly the same career choices. What I find particularly rewarding is that we can change lives and we make the decisions that will impact people in everyday life and communities. That is a responsibility that we take very seriously.